Okay, so I'm going to show how I save tweets and put them into a database and then filter those things, those tweets uh, based on importance and uh, value to me. Um, this was inspired by a conversation I had with Janelle here, uh, who launched this incredible Notion uh, template, uh, sorry, workspace essentially uh, on Product Hunt. And I've really been following her and I've been really inspired by what she's doing. And so I'm really glad that she sort of gently nudged and challenged me to sort of put something together because uh, this is a response to a moment when uh, she was looking for a solution for this problem and she ended up settling on Mail Brew, uh, which I've tried and it's really, really great. But if you want to keep things in Notion, uh, I'll let you know how I've made that work for me. Okay, so here we have Janelle's page and um, I can scroll her timeline here. This also would work on a you know, regular timeline, just a regular feed. And um, if I click into a tweet that I uh, I want to uh, save and pin using the Safe Notion Web Clipper. I've built a workflow for uh, tweets as well as um, other things I save to on our databases I save to specifically. So if I click into tweets, ruminations and tweets, it will automatically grab the um, text from the tweet. I have it set up here so on my daily agenda, everything I have that I experience on that day gets filtered to that day. So that's already preset here. Uh, but some variables that I have are uh, themes of what I am saving. So in this case, it's a newsletter. And uh, I'd say the priority is, say it's a three for me right now. And again, the type of outreach is newsletter. But uh, I have a few other ways as I do um, research for a launch I'm prepping to do, uh, filtered by you know where that, uh, what, what best suits uh, that uh, collection, or that tweet. Uh, so say newsletter again, and I will go save to Notion. I'll give it a second, and open it in Notion. And you will see it copies both the text and the actual tweet itself and saves it and embeds it here. Um, I just sort of get rid of uh, the bottom uh, URL, the bottom there. Uh, and then again, you can see right here, it's already tagged as a tweet. Uh, the date of review is today. Again, I can jump directly to that URL. I prioritize this accordingly. And um, the themes, so those things are are preset. Um, I have some, them set up that way through the Notion Web Clipper, or sorry, the Safety Notion, unofficial Notion Web Clipper. Um, and you know, as I'm going and scrolling through Twitter, it's a really, really fast way. I don't have to always review this. I'm showing this off just to show you what it looks like, but I can basically do a bunch of research, grab things, and if it's tied to something else or a bigger project, mm -hmm. I can, uh, you know, uh, make related databases to loop in those things. Um, in my daily agenda, it will look like this. Uh, there's the things that I've reviewed here, and uh, again, here's thoughts and tweets that I've uh, had on that day or I've collected on that day, and here's Janelle's post. And um, then uh, again, here, you, right here, everything's filtered by the day that things are. Um, are saved and so uh, right here we have uh, Janelle's tweet which again I can click into uh, one thing unfortunately Notion doesn't do is that if I had this as a card mode one thing I'd like to get is this kind of image um, it does not display tweets uh, in the card view like this unfortunately so it's not a big idea for, it's not a big thing for me but I know that some people like to have cards show off uh, tweets it would be really great to have that feature so you can kind of see a, a bit of a cascading tiles as an example and filter it accordingly. But anyways, this is just uh, showing off how I quickly grab tweets on the go and file them based on uh, where I think they'll fit best.